The storm has now arrived. Hey guys, Stormboy13 here. Um, two days ago we've been going on about the blood red sun and hurricane Ophelia, or ex-hurricane Ophelia, affecting western parts of the UK. Right now, we've got some strange uh, foam conditions across parts of, I believe, uh, western parts of England, which was affected by ex-hurricane Ophelia, I think parts of Cornwall as well. Um, I've only briefly checked, but I'm doing a quick video today. Um, in case you want to know, how is seam foam made? Well, as we know, high winds have battered Lancashire, whipping up waves of surf from the sea, sending them over the whole town of Clevelies. Uh, residents, as we know, were stunned to see the thick froth covering everything in sight, from cars and roads to entire buildings. Motorists have struggled to make their way along the foam-covered roads with the slippery surface and poor visibility causing treacherous conditions. Uh, just want to very quickly show you. Um, Don't worry, it's not. That looks really creepy. That is foam, and uh, one very angry car. Um, and it's not snow, as we know. That is just. So, those cars um, that did manage to drive away, um, as we know, had sent uh, more than froth of flying into the air, covering walls and walkways. Sarah Cross tweeted a video on her bizarre drive home on Tuesday, writing, Who says it doesn't snow at the seaside? The frothy phenomenon was the latest bizarre occurrence caused by Ophelia, which turned the sun red yesterday. Um, but England generally avoided the worst of the storm today, after it killed three people and left thousands in Ireland without power or even water. The ex hurricane the strongest storm to the island in almost 60 years, battered the country yesterday. As we know, Prime Minister Leo... Uh, Falador declared a state of emergency as the storm hit. Um, another photo. I know. Weird, isn't it? The major cleanup uh, and repair operation was, has begun with engineers working to restore downed power lines and crews clearing away fallen trees. Father of two, uh, Finton Goss, age 33, was killed in Ravensdale, Dunrog, when a car he was in was struck by a tree just 10 minutes from home on Monday. Uh, Lowe Country Councillor John McGowan described Mr Goss, who has said became a father for the second time in recent weeks, and his family is exceptionally well regarded in the community. So the man runs through the froth. Yeah. I don't know how easy it is if you have to be able to run through the sea foam. In Carroth, Co Tippery, a 31 year old named locally as Michael Pike was killed in a chainsaw accident when he was trying to clear a tree downed by the wind. Earlier, mother one, Claire O'Neill, in her 50s, died when a tree fell on the car in strong winds near Angus Village in Co Waterford. A clear up operation is also underway in Northern Ireland, where around 3,000 homes and businesses are still expecting disrupted electricity supplies. The worst affected parts are across counties Down, Amanga, and Antrium. Um, and just a quick, some basic facts about sea foam is, sea foam, ocean foam, beach foam, or spume is a type of foam created by the agitation of, of seawater, particularly when it contains higher concentrations of dissolved organic matter, including proteins, ligands, and lipids, derived from sources such as the offshore breakdown or avagal blooms. Uh, these compounds can act as servicants or foaming agents as the seawater is churned by breaking waves in the surf zone adjutant to the shore, the presence of the subtractant under these turbulent conditions traps the air, forming persistent bubbles that stick to each other through surface tension. Due to this low density and persistence, foam can be blown by strong onshore winds from the beach face inland. Um, and the main hazards, um, where polluted storm water from rivers or drains discharges to the coast, sea foam pulled on edged beaches can be pollinated with viruses and other contaminants and may have an unpleasant odour. If crude oil discharged from tankers at sea or motor oil sewage and derangements from polluted storm water are present, the resulting sea foam is even more persistent and can have a chocolate mousse texture. What? Um, if the foam forms from the breakdown of a harmful algal bloom, including those caused by some dinkphalactides and carbon bacteria, direct contact with the foam or inhalation of aerosols derived from the foam as it dries can cause skin irritations or respiratory discomforts. 
On rare occasions, large amounts of sea foam up to several metres thick can accumulate to the coast and can constitute a physical hazard to beach users. Though concealing large rocks and voids, storm debris in northern New South Wales, there are even anthodites of sea snakes. So, the notable occurrences. Um, a large build of a sea foam occurred on the coast of Rambia, Northern New South Wales, 24th August 2007, and attracted worldwide media attention. Then, a year later, other sea foam occurrences at Caledonia and Point Cartwright on Queensland Sunshine Coast in January February 2008 also attracted worldwide media attention. And then, during live coverage of Hurricane Irene in Ocean City, Maryland, Trucker Barnes was covered in sea foam. In December 2011, the coast road at Cleveland, Lancashire was swamped by metre-high drifts of sea foam. And then following storms and high winds on 24th to 25th September 2012, the beach runs to foot the area of Aberdeen was engulfed with sea foam. Between 27th and 28th January 2013, the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, had masses of foam washed upon land from ex-tropical cyclone Oswald. June 2016, sea foam across the east coast of Australia whipped up by storms. 28th March this year, sea foam brought by Cyclone Debbie at Serena Beach again in Queensland, Australia. And then this year, just two days ago, Hurricane Ophelia covered Cleveland's Lancashire with spume. So there you go, just some sea foam information. Hope you may have learned something new about it. Um, and it's caused havoc <laughs> across the parts of the UK this week. And uh, it's just not going to stop there. Whatever will happen next. Um, keep tuned to my channel and another new video may pop up. Um, anyways, this is it. Thank you for watching. A slightly shorter video than usual. But it's just some basic information about the sea foam. Um, hope the UK uh, gets back to its normal routine soon. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for any more videos you want me to do, like Extreme K Weather Events, Global Weather Forecasting and Weather Vlogging. Comment below, same as goes in the description. Alright, and that's about it. Thank you very much for guys watching. Uh, the storm is now out.